Cephalopods are a class of invertebrate species that have evolved a notably complex nervous system, allowing them to solve difficult problems and learn observationally. Compared to other mollusks, the cephalopod brain is disproportionately larger and has greater neuronal density. Their evolution from slow, shelled scavengers and into fast, intelligent predators has fascinated geneticists, evolutionary biologists, and physiologists alike. Recent genetic research has endeavoured to help elucidate the underlying genetic differences which give cephalopods cognitive prowess over their mollusk cousins. In 2015, Albertan and colleagues performed the first study of its kind, which sequenced the genome of the California two-spot octopus to find molecular underpinnings of cephalopod nervous system organisation. In this video, we'll explore their biggest findings, which are thought to explain cephalopods' impressive cognition and behaviour. The first gene family found in the sequenced octopus genome was the protocadherin group, which included 168 multi-exotic genes. This expansion of protocadherin genes has been observed to be the first in invertebrate species. When the introns get spliced out, the gene encodes for proteins called protocadherins. Now, I wouldn't blame you if you'd be wondering what on earth these are. To put simply, they're transcellular adhesion molecules that hold cells together, sort of like glue. In neurons, protocadherins play a large role in mediating synaptic specificity by allowing them to distinguish between their synaptic and non-synaptic partners to ensure normal brain functioning. The distinguishment from partner to non-partner allows neurons to form functional neural networks. The specificity is especially important for brains that have a high neuronal density, which implies the evolutionary push to expand on this gene family in cephalopods. The expansion of protocadherins is a prime example of convergent evolution, as an increase in these gene families has also been observed in some vertebrate species. This could provide an explanation of why cephalopods are capable of performing complex behaviours often observed in vertebrates. Albertian and colleagues also discovered a large expansion of the C2H2 zinc finger gene family. The California two-spot octopus genome was found to have four and a half times the amount of C2H2 zinc finger protein coding genes than other mollusks, and approximately three times the amount found in some species of mammals. Zinc finger proteins are transcription factors that bind to specific elements of DNA responsible for cell to survival and neural development. In primates, C2H2 zinc finger proteins play a large role in fetal to early childhood development of the central nervous system by influencing proliferation and migration of stem cells as they develop into neurons. Mutations in the C2H2 zinc finger domain of DNA has been found to result in numerous human neurological disorders, which implies their importance in neural development. Such an expansion of the C2H2 zinc finger gene family overall suggests their vitality to ensure normal functioning in complex brains. Since this study was the first to sequence an octopus genome to gain a better understanding of cephalopod nervous system morphology, it has since been used to complete the puzzle of brain function in cephalopods. Having established the role of protocadherin genes in octopus brain development has enabled more elaborate research on the role of protocadherins on neural organisation. One paper has since found that protocadherin gene expression rose when squids were put in stimulating environments, which together resulted in increased neurogenesis. These findings emphasise the importance of protocadherin proteins in increasing neurogenesis, which may also contribute to increased neuroplasticity. Having pinpointed the molecular clues of the cephalopod nervous system has since opened the door to better understand more specific neurological properties, such as the role of C2H2 zinc fingers in the cephalopod visual system. In 2020, a study was published that discovered that duplicates of the C2H2 zinc finger gene family were specifically expressed in the visual system of octopuses. Unlike other mollusks, Cephalopods have one of the most complex visual systems, which has even been stated to closely resemble that of some vertebrates. As such, the located gene families can serve not only to explain cephalopod nervous system and behaviour, but could also help unlock the mystery of the brain and its function. Taken together, the discovery of protocadherin and C2H2 zinc finger protein expansions in the octopus genome has provided scientists with the first clue to cephalopod nervous system evolution and morphology. This can help us better understand the uniqueness of cephalopods, but also how surprisingly similar they could be to us humans.